I want you to leap in the air. When you jump up in the air and spread your legs, so only your balls hanging out. Assuming that you still have them sit, grab the fish bowl, put that shit over her head, then push the bitch down the stairs. Women love this shit. So if you ain't never lived in poverty, get the probably trash. And when it comes to access, you just gonna pull your head out, and you gonna tell them, oh, Abracadabra, bitch. After a tragic event or after a breakup, pull your head out and then slap them in the back of their head. You gotta learn how to do it with no hands. And it's gonna make your nut come out of their nostrils. Oh, Both of them, you come across this, just stick your finger in her ass and then put it up to her nose. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to part two of me going into Zoom classes and using Life and Scars clips to Zoom bomb people. If you haven't seen the last video, I had to re-upload it last week, so be sure to check that out. And if you have seen that video, be sure to drop a like on this one and join the new Discord server link in the description. And most importantly, be sure to check out Life and Scars. I'm gonna leave a link to his channel in the description and pinned in the comments below. He's the one that gave me the green light to make this video, and let's get this man to 100k, bro. We got him 20,000 new subscribers from the last video. Show him some love. Tell him Matt Radiant says he needs to make more funny content. Let's get my man to 100k. Let's get it. Uh, yeah, and I think it's you know Charles Jin. I heard great things, and he also How did LeBron James a bitch? Hey, y'all, the LeBron James I is a sexy. I think they got a troll. And you're gonna need four items. You're gonna need a chair, oh, hold on, a headband, some baby powder, and a bitch <laughs> with a strong neck. So you're gonna have your strong neck bitch sit in the chair. She gonna tilt her head all the way back. Her mouth need to be pointed straight up towards the ceiling. You are gonna take 20 to 25 steps back, and go ahead and put your headband on. You can be playing some theme music in the background, by the way. But after you got your headband on, I want you to grab the baby powder, clap your hands together, throw that shit in the sky like Brun Brun. Then I want you to run towards this bitch. When you get close, I want you to leap in the air. When you jump up in the air, pull your dick up and spread your legs so only your balls hanging down. And I want you to try to dunk your balls in this bitch's mouth. No teeth, no lips, just mouth. If you hear a little crackling sound in her neck, then just like Brun Brun, don't look back, don't touch the bitch. Take your talents to South Beach. Game is game. Sorry, guys. Come on, man. That's too easy. How's everybody doing today? Anything interesting and anything fun? How to make yeah. a ball koozie for your nutsack. <laughs> guys, No Nut November is over. And it's time for you to treat your balls to something memorable. Now, the ball koozie is a simple yet therapeutic treatment for your balls. You're going to you need four minute. items. You're going to need a bowl, some oh lukewarm water, a bitch with some strong lungs, when and a straw. You, you, Go ahead and find a bowl that's big enough for you to dump your nuts in. Feel that bitch to the brim Can you with do warm water. After you got the bowl filled up, dump your nuts in that bitch. Once you've done that and everything gets submerged, go ahead and find the bitch you're going to do this with. Have her put the straw in her mouth. She need to place the other end of the straw right up under your nut sack. If you want bigger bubbles, get rid of the straw and use something like a PVC pipe. Sorry, hold if on. If you want more bubbles, just get agitated. Game is game. I'm like, why is he here? <laughs> Quick introduction to myself at Men Academy. How to make your well dick do the helicopter. Fellas, if you know anything about dick tricks, this is the meta of all dick tricks. You can impress a woman with this shit. And even if she ain't impressed, she won't be able to look away. So it's two ways to do this. Step one is the way that we do it as kids. Grab the base of your dick and you just swing your shit around in a circle. She ain't gonna really be wild by that. You really wanna get her attention, you gotta learn how to do it with no hands. I don't think your dick can be too big for this. You're gonna have to get that one out. That's why I've been telling y'all, size be matter. First thing you gotta do is get the left to right motion right. Move your Marshall, shit left to right to get it to slap out. Once you get that down pat, you gotta get the up and down motion. You get this by bouncing up off of your toes at the right point. You gotta stand up on your tippy toes, come back down. With enough practice, your helicopter game will be so strong, your ass might just fly away. How to buzz light you a bitch. Hey y'all, the buzz light year is a sex move. So as always, uh -oh, uh -oh, believe that you have consent. Now go like this. You're gonna need four items. You're gonna need a fish bowl, a laser pointer, a flight of stairs, and a bitch. Now you're gonna start off by fing your bitch at the top of the stairs. From the back. Why you fing from the back? Right before you're about to nut, I want you to pull your dick out and slap the bitch in the back of the head. Assuming that you still have consent, right when she turned around, I want you to bust that nut in her eye. As soon as you bust the nut in her eye, grab the fish bowl, put that shit over her head, then push the bitch down the stairs. Go ahead and grab your laser pointer. Corner, point that shit at her it's and scream to infinity and, and beyond. She gonna be trying to get the nut out of her eye, but she can't because the fishbowl in the way. Women love this shit. Game is game. <laughs> when I get this card, I oftentimes think of like relation to spirituality. How to spot big bitches on day naps. Now for the record, I will fuck a fat woman if she's pretty. I just don't like to be startled. And I don't know what it is. Some of these fat women got skinny women faces. It's all a scheme. If she only got pictures of her face, you can bet that that bitch probably pushing 250 at about five foot three. Another thing that they'll do is they'll try to take the picture from the top down where you can't see past them titties. Look for the collarbone. If you can't see no collarbone, that bitch is well padded. Another thing you can do is look for the photo that they do show the full body. It's normally going to be in a crowd of people. Ask this bitch, the wrong channel, how comfortable buddy. are you when you get into a kayak or a go-kart? 
If she says she feel cramped up, then this bitch is inflated. How the Houdini a bitch? Y'all, there's two ways to do the Houdini. It's a sex move. First way is that you fuck somebody from behind. And right before you're about to nut, you spit on their back. Try to aim towards that tramp stamp area. It's gonna create an illusion. They're gonna think that you're done, and then they're gonna turn around, and that's when you just bust that nut in their face. Y'all, they're gonna be amazed by your wizardry. I promise you. Now, the next hey. way, you get somebody on the bed, wait, come in wait, doggy wait, style, wait, wait, in front wait, of a window. Wait, 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 Have the window wait, wait, open wait, wait, wait. so they can see out of it. In the middle of wait, them, you just gonna pull you your out, and you're gonna tell them, I'll be right back. Stay him, just like him, that. Him. When you walk out the room, have somebody else come in and take your place. While they in there fucking that person, you walk out the house and you walk past the window. It's gonna fuck their whole world up. Hey, Gabe. Abracadabra, bitch. Hey, Gabe. Hey, Gabe, you're not muted. <laughs> That's funny. He never have time for me, but when he needs something, I'm always there. But How to get I some head. You fing with a woman and she won't suck you off? Well, the best way to do it is for you to go down on her. Most women know that if you eat some pussy, that's an indication that you want them to go down on you too. It's a lot of dudes out here that just like eating pussy. And they don't want nothing back in return. Now, the next best thing is and to I'll just ask. Just yeah, ask. Get rid of Do you mind giving me some head? She yeah, might say no. If she say no, the way you react depends on if you're going to get some head in the future. If you act like a little bitch and you huffing and puffing, you can cancel that shit, bruh. A true woman that loves to suck Quack. is a special woman. Because she's not willing to do it, she wants to do it. What just happened? <laughs> Did we just get a uh, zoom bombing? Yeah. yeah Carl is uh, so um, blown the f away right the, now. Uh, <laughs> post, uh, I think I shouldn't have posted it into the thing. Well, that oh, happened, uh, I, I did not find it to be an entertaining read. You know, I applaud, applaud the fact that it was based on African legends. How to turn a bitch story. into an angry dragon. Y'all, the angry dragon is a sex move. No tools required, uh -oh. just permission. So you either need to be getting hit or for about 20 to 30 minutes. If you think you're gonna bust quick and you don't think you can last that long, have them edge you on. Hey. You're gonna need a nice amount of man muster for this one, fellas. So when you bust, you need to bust in their mouth. After you bust in their mouth, it's one of two things you can do. One is you can pull your hey. out and then slap them in the yeah. back of their head. If you don't want to do that, then after you bust in their mouth, you just need to jam your shit down their throat. In either scenario, you're going to create a gag reflex. Are we getting and it's going to make your nut come out of their nostrils. Oh, Both of them. The and it's supposed to be the smoke. Oh, it comes from a fire-breathing dragon. All right? We charge our oh, so How to stop jacking your dick. Hey, look, y'all, the two main reasons why you jack your dick is because of boredom and access. You might just be hanging around the house and you'll bump into the kitchen table or you could be sitting on the couch watching TV and you'll scratch your nuts. Both of those can cause your dick to get hard. And so you'll look down and you'll be like, well, since we're here now, stop thinking like that. Leave that dick alone. And when it comes to access on these social media sites, y'all ain't following nothing but badass bitches. And every time you log into Instagram or something, You'll see a bitch doing some jumping jacks or twerking, and you dig get hard, and you'll think, well, I might as well go to the hub and finish it out. Unfollow these bitches, change your mindset. Next time you feel like you need to jack your dick, I want you to grab the head of your dick and the base of your dick. Twist one hand to the right, one hand to the left, go back and forth till you learn your lesson. <laughs> And the process of getting over a breakup. You joined a good group. We're definitely glad uh, that you're here. How to yeah. fuck up somebody relationship. <laughs> Guys, you ever see two people who just happy as hell and you want to test it? Or maybe you just want somebody who don't belong to you. Regardless, I got you covered. If you want Olivia to leave her man, <laughs> then you need to make a dating profile as her man. Connect with other bitches. Talk to them. Entertain them. And talk shit about Olivia. Screenshot the messages and send them to her anonymously. Sit back and let the trust issues burn. Or you can try the paid actor. If you know what type of dudes Olivia like, hire a guy to go up to her and talk to her. And have your camera ready. Take pictures of them talking, laughing, get all Rosemary, your evidence, and send that shit to her husband. To Anonymous. Off. When you see Olivia with a black eye, mission accomplished. Game is game. How to know if you got some bad dick. Guys, look. If you ain't never had a side bitch that knew that she was a side bitch, that's probably because your dick trash. If you ain't never had a bitch ignore her kids so you can continue f***ing her, that's probably because your dick trash. If you are the last person that a woman f before she went gay, that's probably because your dick trash. And I hate to tell y'all, but good dick is a broke man's trait. So if you ain't never lived in poverty, your dick probably trash. Game is game. I don't know exactly what that was, so. What to do with some stinking pussy? Guys, pussy can be tricky, especially stinking pussy. Especially stinking pussy from a pretty bitch, because it's unexpected. Because bitch spend all this money on makeup and not enough money on make down. It's three types. The first one is when a bitch pull down her pants and boom, it's like a chemical warfare. Tell that bitch, I stink, 
and we should take a shower. The second one is like an unlocked character in a video game. You gotta beat the pussy up enough to make the stank come out. It's almost like you gotta achieve stank pussy. The third type ain't pussy at all. This is a bitch who ass stank. Whenever you come across this, just stick your finger in her ass and then put it up to her nose. When that bitch start coughing, look her dead in her eye and say, that ain't me. Now I know it seems like pussy is taking a beating, but goddammit, that's what pussy is for. Game is game. Do you have a criminal How to deal with a fart during sex? Look guys, there's gonna come a time when you're gonna be knee deep into some guts and uh, she probably gonna me. let out a fart and you're gonna let out a fart. The um, best thing for you to, to do is just stay calm. I need you to know that Father, this ain't gonna be fun for neither party at all. And it's gonna be pretty embarrassing. Can. But just ignore it. If it smells, that only add insult to injury. Don't say nothing about it. Now, if they farted while Whoa. you was giving them head, I do think you should say something about it because you can choke, and therefore that requires a verbal warning. I'm not. I'm sure talking what about this is ass farts. I'm not talking about pussy farts, like when a woman walking away and you hear a poof, 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 poof sound. I'm not talking about that. I'm gonna log off and log back in. <laughs> So I'm a general partner in primarily South Carolina. That's awesome. Guys, a lesbian will fuck a dude for one of three reasons. Acceptance, emotions, and curiosity. If she's giving out the indication that she's having a hard time being accepted in society, came from, come on or... fast to bisexual type. Now, when it comes to emotions, bitches gonna be bitches. After a tragic event or after a breakup, pour a little wine up, get her to talk about her life story or the highs and lows of her past relationship. Once you see the tears forming, try to comfort her with physical touch. Now, when it comes to curiosity, a deal don't ain't a drink, and lesbians have desires for a real deal. After a night on the town, just give her the option that whatever she do while y'all tipsy is not an indication on who she really is. It's just a chance for her to explore her curiosities. Game is game. <laughs> Yo, Dale thought that shit was funny as hell. I'm going to give you a report at the end of the meeting when you call on me. Tom Quinn. Tom Quinn. Hey, Tom Quinn. I am the grammarian. This is why your balls stink. Your balls stink because a lot of y'all stay in hot regions or y'all be working out and y'all don't be washing y'all shit twice a day. I want you to reach down right now with a finger, rub your nuts, smell it. Now ask yourself, are you happy? No. So listen to me. If y'all do live in hot regions and y'all working out, I need you to take a shower at least twice a day. If you're doing that and it still stink, you probably need to trim. All you hairy dudes, y'all do you. But it, you know, mm -hmm. when you got hairy nuts and shit and the bacteria, it gets trapped up in there. Use ball deodorant. Put that shit on there, give it a nice little minty smell. <laughs> If that ain't working, you could try dipping your nuts in vinegar. If you just got through shaving, though, I wouldn't do that shit. It gonna hurt like a bitch. If you look at the images that are... How to titty fuck a bitch with no titties. Oh my goodness, so Guys, sorry. look, when a flat-chested oh. bitch lay on her back, her oh titties goodness. are liable to disappear. And that's a problem. Oh my goodness. So how you fix that shit? You lay on your you back. Hold your dick back on your stomach. Have your bitch get on top of you. She need to trap your dick in between her titties and your yes, belly button. And she need to move up and down oh until goodness. you feel complete. Or have her lay on her back on the bed with her head hanging out the edge. You stand over her head and put your dick in between her titties. Oh my gosh, now because her titties live, this. your dick ain't gonna stay there. So you wanna push her titties together oh with your God. hands and just stick your dick in there. It's like a hand job, but for titties. Game is game. Very nice. <laughs> How to get your ass ate like your daddy did. Look, man. Oh, yeah. I know all the young people out there going to hear me talk about getting your ass ate and they're going to think. That's a great idea. Ew, that's oh, nasty. Oh, all God. that stuff. Man, shut the f up. Because yeah, it's the cold right. hard truth. If you keep your hygiene up good enough truth. and you find enough bitches, eventually I know. one of them going to eat your I ass. Know bro. What you mean. Don't believe me? I know. Go ask your daddy. I do believe you. I do believe you. I'm I just believe trying believe. to prepare you for when that time comes because you okay, ain't going to see thanks. it coming. It could be a drunk night. Well, no, I Maybe your girl probably going out to college and she want to do something special for you in your butt. Well, look, just know that when she lift up your balls and start going to town on your shit, shit going to start to get really weird really fast. Just know that your body, Where do I find this? Girl. Tell the bitch to stop. <laughs> if you want her to keep going, that's on you. When it comes to that finger playing, <laughs> women to take advantage of you, dog. Tell her to stop oh, if you don't want goodness. that. Shit. I just don't want some woman oh, being four knuckles deep into you, and all of a sudden you can't walk no more. Oh, my goodness. Damn, bro. Is this your first time? I I moved to Arlington five months ago. Actually, do not a spot a bitch with a dick. Look, guys, it's 2023, so a lot of bitches ain't bitches. Especially if you live in places like Miami, LA, or Atlanta. You could get a rude awakening. So hear me out. The first thing you want to check for is an Adam's apple. 
Or tell her you want to see if you can lift her up. Give her a ride on your back and see if you feel a dick on your spine. Or, and they go to the bathroom. When they come out, you need to go into that same bathroom to see if they left the toilet seat up. He said, Ma, or, this is Or, if you meet a bro. bitch in a dark club and they flat chested and heavy on the makeup, you need to stop at a well-lit gas station on the way home. You gotta see this bitch in some fluorescent lighting. Or, the voice. If it ain't a real bitch, it's gonna sound like laryngitis. Just sneak up behind that bitch and scare the shit out of them. It's gonna make them scream in their primary voice. I just don't want you at the end of the night asking where'd that little fella come from. Game is game. Okay. How were you able to kick this person off because I didn't see any sign to do that? I think Mark was the first one on. I don't know how to do that because it just seemed like he just disappeared. I think the show your dick in public. Guys, look, 2023 <laughs> is the year that we got to bring the dick print back. All these okay. at the gym showing us they put the prints and what do we doing do? squats right in front of us. It's time to show these hoes some appreciation. So what you need to do is get you a pair of gym shorts. Go to the gym. Don't wear no underwear. Do the decline bench press. That's when your bench know, is slanted down. That means your back is going to be slanted down. Okay. That's going to make your dick slant yeah. up. If you need to be in a professional <laughs> setting, get you a pair of khaki pants with some boxes. Place your dick on your thigh. And then lean up against the wall and place your thigh that your dick is on. Put that foot up on the wall. It'll make your shit stick out. These bitches out here showing their camel toes. We gotta show our camel legs. Game is game. Subscribe.